Good morning. How are you? Good, I hope. And we're back. It's a Monday morning cup of Joe, and it's another Monday morning. Relentless time, constantly moving forward. But anyway, this week, I wanted to share something with you. In past episodes, I have shared that I am a team intervention facilitator. What does that mean? Well, it means that, unfortunately, I get called in when teams are in trouble, when they're failing. And there's been a few proactive uh, clients that have said, hey, we've got a really good team. We want to make them better. What a concept, right? But I want to share with you a story. This happened uh, not long ago. I got a call from the VP of Human Resources with a company that um, had heard about me from another uh, client of mine. And the VP of HR shared with me that the CEO of the company had created this dream team to overcome a major challenge that they needed to uh, you know, accomplish this goal if they're going to be still viable players in their industry. And I said, okay. And she said, well, I need you to come in and observe the team and give us feedback in terms of what we need to do to get the team back on track. So I went out to their facility, um, sat down with the team, uh, the executive staff team first to hear their perspective. And then I sat in on a few of the team meetings of the dream team, which was maybe at that point, the nightmare team. And then I spoke to each of the individuals on the team, asked them questions, you know, how are things going? What, what seems to be their biggest challenge? And interestingly enough, 100% of the team members said, look, Anytime we are in agreement of taking a course of action, uh, the CEO comes in and says, no, that's wrong. Start again. Do it over. Without giving them any feedback or understanding in terms of what he's looking for, you know, why were their ideas not effective or efficient? Um, some of them said that they have gotten to the point of apathy. They just are just going to sit and wait it out until leadership can give them a clearer picture as to what it is that they want to accomplish. Even though the, the goal, the objective, the metric were pretty clear, pretty clear. But the means of how to go forth and resolve issues and achieve the objective was not it was clearly not and every time they thought that they were making progress they would get as one of them put swatted down by the leader um, not the leader of the team leader of the organization so on wednesdays after the coffee we're going to talk about the leadership responsibility in regards to organizational culture. What is organizational culture? How do you create an organizational culture? And why should anybody care about organizational culture? Look, as long as we're getting the results, what difference does it make? Well, on Wednesdays after the coffee, I'm going to drill down on this whole thing on organizational culture, how to create it, what are some of the challenges in creating organizational culture, and then ultimately, does organizational culture service? 
With that being said, my friend, it is Monday. I hope you have a warm libation for this cooler part of the year. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. And as always, lead well, my friend. <laughs>